I can believe it. I can believe it. All right, let's move on. Let's talk uh, baseball for a little bit. And we're not going to talk the uh, the terrible stuff about who are we going to have a season, are we not? They're shutting down uh, training camp locations again because of, you know, the pandemic and whatever else. Uh, it was It was reported today, I was going to say announced, but it was reported today that Alex Rodriguez is part of a group along with J-Lo uh, that they're going to go in and buy the Mets. Have you seen this? Yep. I'm a little <laughs> Michael said baseball. What's that? <laughs> right? And we don't even know anymore. It's, it's, uh, it's a sport that used to be played and might not ever play again. Listen, if you're an owner of an MLB, MLB team, if you sell right now and then something happens and the league just blows up, is that like the greatest hoodwink swindle of all time? Oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent. You bought something that completely is dissolved now. Yeah, just evaporated. It's like it's like you just burned money. You know that. Uh, you know the Dark Knight uh, when the Joker yeah. comes in and he lights yeah, that entire just, pile of money on fire. The Joker just set money on fire. There you go. Uh, let's see. Matt said, uh, "Wait, according to MLB owners, they aren't profitable." Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, let's see, Damien said, virtual baseball season is the future. And then Matt said, why would A-Rod buy them? Uh, because they are, in fact, profitable. Like, it's, they, they, they are profitable. It's a trophy buy as well. Yes. Like, I mean, this is just some people want to own big, famous things and be a major decision maker in those things. I think A-Rod would probably be a pretty good owner. I think he would be as well. Uh, and it, it's just him as part of this bigger group. Well, yeah, all, but, yeah, no one person owns many of these teams. Now, you back buy, in the day, when you could buy them for $500,000, $500, lots of people just own them by themselves. But. You you buy a professional sports franchise in New York, Chicago, or L.A., yep. and it is going to balloon in, in uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not investment. In, it's... No, it's just a va- it's just his value. Value. It's a value. Yeah, the value is going to balloon over the years because of where it is, the amount of people it can reach, etc. It's going to be worth way more in ten years well, than it is right now. Just the fact of the property value of owning the stadium, in which I believe the Mets do, so you get the stadium. It's not a city ball stadium, I don't think. Um, just just that property in ten years from now will be double what it's worth today. Yes. Um, Michael said, A-Rod is a tool. I would enjoy seeing him buy an MLB team, and then it tanks. Uh, Jose said, we need to change. If he could afford it, if he could afford it it's good. Yeah, I, no, I think so, too. I, I think this is a good move. I, I, I've i never been an A-Rod fan. One of my favorite moments in life was when VTech beat the hell out of him. That was, that was good. <laughs> um, but uh, The way that know. he shifted, by the way, is is very strange. It, you remember when, when Derek Jeter was playing, everybody loved him. Yeah. And now A-Rod, when he was playing, when he was going through all the steroid stuff and whatever, everybody hated him once he became a Yankee. And now he's pretty beloved. No, he's MLB been great team. on MLB yeah. uh, Network. He's been really, really good. And listen to him call games is really good. Oh, he's fantastic. He's super knowledgeable, and he talks a lot about, like, I don't know why. He's willing to say things that are hard. He'll question, I don't know why they did this. They should have done this, this, and this. And then he gives the explanation for why he thinks, like, he second-guessed them. And that is just rare to find anybody who's willing to question and challenge what you're seeing on the field because we just assume all these managers, all these coaches get paid so much money, they all the moves that they make are right. Yeah. And and to hear somebody in the broadcast challenge them and then teaches you about the game, it, it's just – it's just really nice to hear. I hated him when he was playing, you know, I, but now that he's out of the game and he just talks about the game, I'm very, I mean, this is something I've always been good at anyway is compartmentalizing everything in my life. I don't know if that's a, a defense mechanism or, or what that is in my brain, but <laughs> a, a rod outside of, outside of playing baseball is a completely different person than a rod in baseball. And yes. I hated him then. I'm always going to hate that, and and this A Rod I'm fine with, and I want him to buy the Mets. I think he'll be a good owner. I kind of want him to stick it up the ass of the Yankees. I kind of want him to see <laughs> can I turn this team into the premier team in New York? 
And I'll tell you this, if he can do that, he'll hundred times his investment. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Michael said the only thing he's done uh, with his life is date J-Lo. She needs to be drug tested. Um, J-Lo's hot, man. Whew, good gracious. Damien said, uh, and he just wants to own the Mets because he knows that nobody is going to steal the Mets memorabilia like they didn't with his Yankee stuff. Uh, <laughs> the Mets suck. They're wasting DeGrom's career. This is Ben, by the way. He said, their most known defender is that stupid apple. It keeps a lot of ground rule doubles from becoming home runs. Um, let's see. Matt Miller jumps in. Coming from a Yankee fan, we hated A-Rod when he played for us. He is a tool, but he's become much more comfortable in his own skin than he used to be. Uh, Michael said, why doesn't he buy the Rays or Marlins? They have to be so much cheaper. Well, the Marlins were just bought by uh, by Derek Jeter. Derek and, Jeter's group, yeah. And the Rays, uh, I mean, they're not for sale, but, I mean, they're dirt cheap right you don't want to you don't want to buy a florida-based team because they have no fans and yeah. so much we're learning about a little bit about mlb's economics some of these teams don't make money and they just wait for the team to grow in evaluation as the league gets more money excuse me in in their pot but and that's that's the florida-based teams those new york teams boston the the west coast teams st louis if you got a big fan base chicago you make money every year off of selling out stadiums and memorabilia, tickets, concessions, all those things. New York, you can make money every year. Yeah. Damian jumped in and said he could buy the Astros. Uh, <laughs> Michael said if he buys the Mets, can we demand J-Lo as the mascot? Listen, I would I'll tell you this. Love he can't buy the Astros. That is, that is flat out wrong. That Astros owner is a gazillionaire. Yeah, okay? he, he ain't selling. Hey, Rod well, got punk money compared to that guy. Um. Let's see, Ben jumping in uh, earlier. I want to get back to what he said about the Mets suck. They're wasting DeGrom's career, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, not necessarily. It was not that long ago that they were in the World Series. Yes, they yeah. lost the World Series, but they have had injury problems the last two seasons. Like, the, the Mets have had more injuries their, than any biggest, other team in baseball. Their biggest issue is, is they can't put it all together they, their pitching has been on, and I love. I was wanting so bad a baseball season. I got one friend that's a really big Mets fan, and we talk a lot of baseball. And I told him at the end of last year, when the Mets at like kind of the trade deadline, like that second trade deadline, went and got Strom. I know we're getting way baseball centric, and people <laughs> don't care or, or turning it off as they speak. That's they it. went and got they went to, and traded for Stroman from from the Blue Jays, yeah. and I was just like, holy shit. That pitching rotation next year is going to be sick. Beat those guys in a seven-game series. They just got to put up three, four runs a night, and that is it. And they just got to find offense, and then we're not going to get to see that season, and that sucks. Yeah, I think the Mets are close. Offensively, they got a long way to go, and the problem is is they built around pitching, and the game has just become so hitting citric. Oh, 100%. Uh, ben said they fell off a cliff. Uh, Matt said, 2015, they were in the World Series. Pitching can't stay healthy was the problem. It wasn't just pitching. It was also that offense completely dropped off. Uh, Michael said, New York fans are spoiled. Try being a Rockies fan. Yeah, that's that's tough, brother. Oh, no, no tough. doubt New York fans are spoiled. Listen, yeah. all, of those, all of those Northeast school, uh, teams are all spoiled. Red Sox, but, but, yeah, I mean, Boston fans are the most spoiled in any sport division well, especially region, over over or, the last 20 years of the world yes and for 20 years they've got like 19 championships okay that's that's unheard of i get it you're right even mets fans who haven't won anything the problem is is in new york this is what i know about new yorkers you're either a yankees giants fan which tells me you're just a homer or you're a mets jets fan which tells me you're probably into some kinky shit because you just like torture. Uh, <laughs> Damien, Damien said, damn it, he can buy the Bengals if he wants to go cheap. No, even the Bengals are worth more than the Mets, brother. Oh, uh, no, you can't buy an NFL team. No. You, J-Lo and A-Rod can team together with 20 people their level, and they're still the brokest NFL owners there are. Uh, ben said, try being an A's fan. Yeah, no, agreed. Agreed. It's oh, tough. no, no, there are we way get more. Hang on, no, no, no. Oakland people can eat my ass, all right? <laughs> nobody cares. And nobody wants to hear you cry when you got the Warriors just just lopping up but everything. They, but okay? they don't anymore. The Warriors are over in San Francisco now. Oh, my gosh. They moved across the bay. And then they, they moved, lost the Raiders. They moved, they moved from Olive Branch to West Memphis, all right? That's like a 45-minute drive. People in California are so used to getting places in 20 or 30 minutes. 
oh, it's so far away. Dude, I'd put 150 miles a day on my vehicle. Drive across the street. It's fine. That's why they built that damn bridge, isn't it? So you could drive? Yeah, pretty much. Michael said, uh, Ben, you're in Cali. You can be a Giants fan just across the bay. <laughs> I swear to God. 